Over the last 15 years, I've made quite a few changes in my life. Some changes were small, others big. Some I kept and others I discarded. Interestingly, very few lasting changes involved an immediate, huge-scale addition or removal of an entirely new habit. Just the opposite, most of the changes that stuck in the long run were simply slight adjustments to my life. I know some people debate the usefulness of New Year's resolutions. Often, this is because people simply attempt too much. Rather than adopting an approach of 1% better, they think resolving to change 100% is the way to go. But this doesn't work. When we think we're going to change our entire life overnight just because the calendar flips over, we usually fail and end up frustrated. A better approach is to start where you are with the life you're living and make slight adjustments. For example, rather than saying, I'm going to exercise every day for a month, try, I'm going to exercise more than I do now. You get to decide what that more looks like exactly. Your improvement doesn't have to be drastic to begin moving your habits in a positive direction and getting just 1% better every week adds up quickly. To that end, here are 12 more or less resolutions you can start today. Number one, own less stuff. I can't begin to explain how much my life changed when I decided to own less. Owning fewer possessions freed up time, money, space, and energy in both the short run and the long run. So make this the year you decide to own less and recognize again that your life is too valuable to waste chasing and accumulating material possessions. You don't have to own nothing to experience the benefits. Begin by owning less in some intentional ways and see the impact that it can have. Number two, watch less television. Want to make an immediate positive change in your life? Turn off one television series. Watch one less hour of TV each week or designate one evening for no television. You don't need to cut television out entirely or even give up your favorite show. Just watch a little bit less. What will you do instead? Especially if you live home alone? I'm not sure and maybe you aren't either. But you'll never know how much greater of an impact you can make with your life until you stop spending your days watching others live theirs. This resolution could also apply to YouTube, TikTok, or any social media platform. Number three, eat a healthier diet. Eating healthier is no doubt one of the top resolutions made by people every year, as well it should be. A healthy diet fuels a healthy body to live a healthy and fulfilling life. But rather than trying to change your entire diet at once, look for incremental ideas. Instead of cutting out sugar entirely, maybe you could give it up a couple days each week. Rather than switching to a no-meat diet on a whim overnight, just add an extra vegetable to every meal. Sometimes switching your diet overnight works, but that's rarely the case. So instead, look for smaller ideas that move you closer and closer to that ideal. Number four, spend less money on unnecessary things. We all need food, shelter, and clothing. To live is to consume, and that requires use of our money. But too often, we confuse unnecessary purchases with actual needs. And when we do, money gets very tight. So take a good look at where your money is going, especially if you're struggling. Can you find just one or two reoccurring purchases that are unnecessary? If so, cut back on them. Number five, read more books. How many books did you read last year? 12, three, zero? Whatever that number was for you, read more this year. There's a benefit in both fiction and nonfiction. Number six, become more generous. I don't think you'll ever regret a life lived for others. In fact, the science supports this assumption that the most fulfilled lives are those lived for others. So how can you be just a little bit more generous this year? Give a little bit more money, volunteer a few more hours. Number seven, ask more questions. One of the best pieces of advice I ever received came from a gentleman sitting down at a friend's house. He said to me, one of the easiest ways to become more interesting is to learn how to ask good questions. This was over 20 years ago and I've never forgotten that. It has entirely changed how I interact with others, both new people I'm just meeting and people I've known for years. So try it yourself this year. Make a special effort to ask more questions. 
An eighth more or less resolution is complain less. Complaining is almost never a positive reaction to our circumstances. Most of the time, we complain simply because things aren't going exactly as we want them. Complaining has a negative effect on ourselves and the people around us, and it brings everyone else down. I know this is a tough resolution to measure because we don't usually realize how much complaining is a part of our lives, but I'd recommend trying to go a full day without verbalizing any complaints. A little while later, try the experiment again. And the more you try it, the more you'll notice complaining when it happens. Number nine, appreciate your spouse more. Too often, we expect the most from the people we're closest to. We never make the same demands of our boss or coworker as we do of our spouses. When it comes to our spouses, it's easy to notice all the things we wish they were rather than appreciating all the good we see every day. So this year, resolve to appreciate your spouse more than you did last year. More compliments, more flowers, more conversations, more dates, more selfless service. You made a lifelong commitment to your spouse. Make sure your relationship is heading in the right direction this year. Number 10, get more exercise. This resolution is the perfect example of a more or less decision. If you're not active at all, resolving to go running every day this year is a resolution that will likely fall in the first week. Instead, decide to add just more exercise to your routine. We've all been reminded on the importance of physical health these past several years, so add in just a little bit more than last year. If you didn't exercise at all last year, go for two walks a week. If you were haphazard in your physical exercise last year, set aside a specific time to create consistency. Number 11, pray more. Regardless of your faith or non-faith, I'm a big fan of prayer. Even if you don't believe in God, there are still benefits to being still, expressing gratitude, and articulating desires. If you have a religious faith, resolve to pray more this year than last year. If you do not have a religious faith, consider how prayer still might positively change you. It slows our mind, it calms our spirit, centers our heart, it removes our mind from the culture of consumption that surrounds us, and calls us to identify our desires and values. And number 12, dream bigger dreams for your life. You are unique and important. You hold the potential to make a significant difference in the lives of others. Maybe that means you can make a world of difference to one, or maybe that means you can be the one to make a difference to the entire world, but you never will until you believe that you can. So this year, starting today, dream bigger dreams for the person you can be and the impact you can make. Refuse to just coast through life holding out until it's over. Live intentionally for others and your life will be the one that changes the most. This coming year holds incredible potential for you, so take hold of that. Not by falsely claiming the potential to make sweeping changes overnight, but by resolving to get just a little bit better in the areas of life that matter most. Because once you begin taking a few steps in the right direction, you'll be surprised how far you can go.